Chris, right. just, just, for Chris. just talk about uh, kind of your, your thoughts and feelings now that you guys are going to the national championship game. You know, it's an honor to be in this situation. You know, uh, during the off season, that's what every, every team in college football prepared for to get to this point. And, you know, we're just thankful to be in this position to get a chance to play for another national championship. For you, I know you've got to be pretty excited because you, I mean, one play into the your, your opportunity in 2010, you, you're out, you know, you get a chance to play in another one. Yeah, I'm pretty excited, you know. Uh, I had an injury that, that stopped me from playing in the uh, 2010 National Championship, and hopefully that won't occur again in this one. But, uh, you know, God has a plan for me, you know. I'm just following his lead, you know. I know he got better things in store for me in life. Chris, is it tough to have to wait a month? I mean, would, would you guys much rather just play it next Saturday? Yeah, it's tough. It's tough to have to wait a month, but you know, we need that uh, preparation and like what what Trey said, people need their bodies need to heal, you know, and you know you need to step away from football for a minute, you know. Uh, so I say it's it's fifty fifty. <laughs> what's it been like for you the last? I mean, since the Iron Bowl, just per off the field, what's it been like today? You got to pay for a meal? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I still had to pay for a meal, but you know. Uh, it's been great, you know. It's it's uh what I expected growing up, you know. And that one play kind of changed my life, you know. And they say I'll always be for, uh, remembered here in Auburn. And I think that's an honor, you know. So that's what I feel about that. What did you do last night when uh, Michigan State got the, uh, got the fourth down stop? Uh, you know, like Trey said, we was in the lobby watching the game. And, you know, we, we room for Michigan State, and, you know. Uh, we just thank Mich Michigan State for the opportunity to let us get a chance to play in the national championship game. Y'all feel like you still earned it, though, obviously, the way you guys played this season. Yeah, I say we earned it. I say we, we had a tougher schedule than Ohio State. And, you know, but we don't, you know, we don't um, do the votes on who's going to play in the national championship game. You know, we thought we beat the number one team in the nation. And, you know, we beat more top five teams than they did. So I, th I think we had the right to play in the national championship game. Chris, how different is it from being done this time last year to, to now be sitting here thinking about the national championship game? Uh, it's real different, you know. Uh, last year was our first time being done around this time, you know, because we played in the bowl my sophomore year. But, you know, uh, we tried to put last year behind us, and I think everybody did a good job by doing that, you know. Uh, everybody bought in to what Coach Madison brought here to the table. And you know, one thing Coach Madison preaches together. You know, he always tells us we give we give our all when we go out there uh, and play the game. If a team better than us and they beat us, they just be better than us on that night. What's the key to handling this month off before you guys go down to, go to California? Uh, whenever we start back practicing, you know, preparation. You know, we need to learn, uh, know what they're doing before they do it. You know, and I think that'll give us a good. Um, head start on them, you know, knowing the things they do before they do it. And, you know, uh, just keep doing what we've been doing. That, uh, keep doing what we've been doing to get us to this point here. And like Coach Madison said, he's not going to change nothing, you know. And we're just going to prepare like we've been preparing until the game comes. Chris, how hard is it to tackle? Say that again? How hard is it to tackle Trey? How hard it is to tackle Trey? Yeah. Trey is a physical runner, you know, pound for pound. You know, he'll every down back. And, you know, I'm very happy for Trey because everybody, that's everybody's dream to be in a Heisman conversation uh, growing up. And I'm happy for him, and I think he deserved it. Chris, was there a specific moment where you thought this team is special or was it kind of just a growing kind of thing where you just kind of realized it as the year went on? Uh, for you personally? I thought, you know, as we start winning throughout, like, throughout the season, as we start winning, like, the first four games, I thought we had a chance. You know, like the coaches really didn't know the players for real. They were still getting to know the players, uh, the style of player of the players. So like I always say, everybody just bought in. And we all played as one. And like I always say, Coach Malzahn used the word together. And we stay together, do whatever. You know, we're going to face adversity. And we overcome it. And you know, we find a way to win uh, at the end of every game. But what made you guys buy in? Was it the coaches? Was it the feeling that you guys were 3-9 last year? Like, what made everybody buy in to Gus Malzahn? 
I say it was the feeling going three and nine, but I say it's the coaching staff. You know, Coach Malzahn, when I met with Coach Malzahn when he first got the job, he said he um, going to hire the best coaching staff in college football. Uh, not just coaching-wise, but as men also. And I think he did that. You know, you can look at every coach on the coaching staff as a father figure. You know, for some people who ain't never had a father like me, I look at Coach Smith and Coach Cheese as a father figure, you know. And they great men, and you know, they man of God, and they really care about us. 